Hello friends, how are you all? And you welcome to my channel, Shubhasri ma'am. Today we will learn the pair of linear equation in two variables. Not one variables, two variables and pair of linear equation. Means two equations will be there and from there we will find out the values of x and y. Because two variables are here there. So, value of x and value of y we have to find out there. Achha, these sums, these linear equations we can sub, uh, solve by using two methods. One is substitution method, another one is elimination method. So, but today we will uh, do elimination method and in my next video definitely I will show you how to do the substitution method. Clear? So, let us start. Do not waste time, no delay. So, let us start the elimination method. Using elimination method we will solve the pair of linear equation that is the first term I am taking x plus 2y equals to 2 and another one x minus 3y equals to 7. These two equations we have taken that is equation number 1 and this one is equation number 2. These are the two equations. Okay. So, by the name you can understand elimination method means you have to eliminate something. So, first what we will eliminate two variables we have we will eliminate one variable. Okay. So, for, for that what we will do you do the subtraction here it is plus x plus x you change the sign that is minus x this is minus 3y. So, you make it plus 3y plus 7 to make it minus 7. Now, easily we can eliminate the variable x that is plus x, this is minus x. So, easily we can subtract. Now, 2 plus 2 plus 3. See this sign, do not see this sign. See this one plus 2 plus 3 that is 5y equals to 2 minus 7 equals to minus 5. So, our the value of y equals to what? minus 5 by 5 equals to minus 1. So, therefore, what is the value of y? y equals to minus 1. Clear it is y equals to minus 1. Now, what you will do? You will put the value of y in any one of the equation. At the equation number 1 or equation number 2. I am putting the value uh, what? In equation number 1. So, equation number 1 lay, you write first, you have to write, put the value of y in equation number 1 that you have to write, ok. I am not writing, but you will write. Then uh, let us write the equation number 1 that is x plus 2y equals to 2. The, oh, now, we will put the where that implies x plus 2 into minus 1 equals to 2. That implies x plus minus minus 2 equals to 2. That implies x equals to 2 plus 2 that is 4. Therefore, the what is the value of x? Value of x is 4. So, we find out the values of both the variables that is x equals to 4 and y equals to minus 1 ok. So, you found out the values of two variables both the variables ok. This is the elimination method, but you see that here in this sum this one is the easy one. In this sum you can see the very uh, coefficient of x, coefficient of x are same both are 1 1. 1x, 1x. If the coefficients are not equal, then what you will do? Okay, we will do our this thing in our next sum. So, let me take the one more sum that is, I am taking one more 3x plus 2y, 3x plus 2y equals to 19 and uh, x plus y. equals to 8. 
this one is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. Now, see the coefficient of x is what in equation number 1 that is 1 uh, 3 that is 3. In equation number 2 what is the coefficient of x that is 1. So, we have to make it equal. So, very simple what we will do we will multiply equation number 2 by 3 ok. So, what it will be 3 into x. So, it will be 3 x plus 3 y equals to 8 3 is a 24 clear you got it. Now, what we will do? So, let me write the equation number 1 first. It is 3 x plus 2 y equals to 19 and 3 x plus 3 y equals to 24. Now, we will do the subtraction and we will change the sign minus minus minus. Now, easily you can can cancel positive 3 x and negative 3 x. So, you cancel these two, 2 minus 3 that is minus 1. So, uh, it will be minus y and 19 minus 24 is minus 5 minus minus cancel. So, y equals to 5. Y the value of y we got that is 5. Now, you same you put it in equation number 2 it is comparatively small. So, you put this one that is equation number 2 that you will write again I am saying you have to write the put the value of y in equation number 2 that you will write x plus y equals to 8. Now, we are find going to find the value of x and so we will find the value of y, y the value of y is 5 equals to 8. That implies x equals to 8 minus 5. Therefore, the value of x equals to what? 3. So, our a value of x is 3 and the value of y is 5. So, we got this values of both the variables. Now, I am giving you one um, sum uh, that comes in CVSC and uh, children get confused with this sum um, on this uh, linear equation only. I am giving you 0 0.2x plus 0 0.2x plus 0 0.3y equals to 1.3 and 0 0.4x plus 0 0.5y equals to 2.3. This is equation number 1 and that is equation number 2. By this is this uh, equations uh, come came in what decimal decimal number. So uh, our first thing we will target is we have to uh, remove the decimal. Okay. So for that what you do you just simply do multiply by ten and multiply by ten. If you do that that automatically you see the decimal points are before one digit. That's why multiplied by 10. So, our equation will be 2x plus 3y equals to 13 and 4x plus 5y equals to 23. So, now the our equation is without any decimal point. So, easily we can solve it. Now, you see I am little bit helping you. This will be your homework and you will in comment box you tell me the values of x and y. What you will do? You can see the coefficient of x are different. Here it is 2, here it is 4. You do uh, only one thing that is you multiply equation number 1 by 2 and equation number 2 will be same that means multiply by 1. Then after that you so use the elimination method and solve it and give me write me the 
value the what is the value of x and y both the variables okay you will do it and send me i will see how many of you are responding and giving the correct value of x and y okay so today is this much and bye bye